After knocking out two big projects in a row, I need something a little less intense before my brain fully dissolves into auto lobotomy juice and leaks out of my nostrils. I'm a big Bionicle fan and have long been fascinated with the 3D printing side of the fandom. Today I will 3D print the original Matoran, Matoro. Link to files in description. I have printed all of Matoro's original parts out in white. But I don't want to simply assemble them. I will be upgrading the design with new articulation using bootleg mixel joints as well as adding my own artistic touches. I use a Dremel to drill out holes in the torso to attach the ball ends of the joints. I cut the plates down to smaller points that fit into the holes. I flatten out sections on the arms, feet, and head to attach the socket ends of the joints. Now to test the position. Official LEGO elements are harmed in some of my videos, but not this one. Every part used in this build is either bootleg or 3D printed. This video would absolutely get me swatted by the LEGO feds otherwise. FBI, open up! Oh boy, I can't wait for people to see this in future shoots, not realize underneath the distortion and effects that it's all fake parts, and come completely unglued because they think I ruined an original Mick Torin. Now let's snap Matoro together. I start with a base color for the mask and feet. I want something reminiscent of Matoro's original design, but I'm not pushing for perfection. That said, I think this blue fog acrylic paint captures the vibe pretty well. It's hard to tell from pictures on the internet and I don't have any of the original parts because they are expensive. Even if I did, they would likely be discolored by now. I have done some sanding, but not enough to remove the filament layer lines. I think they add to the mechanical greedling. There are some little filament boogers and hot glue stringing here and there. The paint helps me see where additional sanding is needed. I paint some extra details onto the arms and torso in a lovely blue for that color pop. Especially the mechanical ridges on his arms. The greebling on bionicle parts is beautiful, so I want to emphasize it as much as I can. I then coat the painted parts in Mod Podge. I leave the head white because I think it looks better than a big chunk of grey wood. I add glamtastic rhinestones to the scopes on Matoro's Kinoe Akaku as well as his chest to serve as a heart light. I finished the Kinoe mask with some iridescent glitter because I have no self-control relative to shiny things. Just look at the shimmer on that glam kaku and enjoy my barak hijinks. Oh yeah, and the disc throwing arm feature still works, though it's a little trickier to make work reliably. Once again, I don't have the original, so we will have to settle for this Vaki Kinoka disc. So does the feature of holding the disc on the back if you pose the arms right. That's about it. Hey, I hit it. Hit it right in the face on my first shot, huh? Please like and subscribe for more colorful custom toys and experimental art if you enjoyed. Oops. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. I threw it into the ground and 
jumped over the, um, I think it's Tanakh. 